Hello everyone, so one request I've had is to do videos and streams with face cam, so I've also gotten requests for doing a settings and renders updated video. So what I'm going to be doing is both. So first off, I'm going to go into my file here. This is my blur config. All of this, I tested literally everything here. The main thing, this number right here, this I would recommend having 4x of what you record in so if you record in 240 you would make this 960 if you record in 360 which is what i record in um you would make this 1440. next this is the blur output fps so this is the the like if let's say i record in 360 right and i put it into blur this is the fps that it's going to come out as so most people have this at 60 or 120 but I was just curious and played around with the settings a little bit. I made it 240, which I found the smoothest results. Now this may cause things like your um, editing software to lag a little bit or the file to be bigger. But in my opinion, it does look the best. So if it's if your uh, editing software does lag or you do have some problems with the files being too big, you can just cut this down to either 60 or 120. The lower, you know, the, the less smooth it'll be. But this is what I found to be best. I also played around with this a little bit. 1.5 is the best that I saw to where it didn't look too too much blur. It was a good balance where it looked smooth, but you know, not too like over the top. This right here I played around with as well. Um, and for my specific, um, the way my game looked, this was the best that I found. I would say I would play around with this yourself. It's pretty simple. These are all defaulted to one. So if my game was a little bit too bright, so I made a 0.9. My saturation um, was pretty low. So I also like my game to look a little bit more saturated. After the fact for the recording, I think it looks a little bit better. So anywhere between 1.1 and 1.2 would be pretty good. And contrast, I just left that at one. So that's my blur config. Okay, so right here is my Vegas. And if I go to properties here, you can see the settings I use. Uh, basically just, I export it in 4K. These are all my other details, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then to render it, what I do is I use a software called VooCoder and it's pretty easy to set up. It's also in color uh, CTT or color tweak tips. I think that's what it's called. And yeah, so you can find that and blur both in that server. I'll link it in the description. So it's pretty simple and it's easy to set up and yeah, if you use Vegas, I would recommend using that. Along with that are going to be some of my Minecraft settings. So you can see here, I use, normally I use 85 FV. I guess it got reset to 82. If I'm playing Hoplite or 1.20, I'll go to 82. But for general Battle Wars, 85 is my most common F, uh, FOV. Then right here, music and sounds. This is pretty basic. This is just to your liking and preference. Then in video settings, these are all of mine. You can just pause and copy if you want to. Details animations quality performance and other and if you want to look here these are the packs i have um nothing crazy i don't have that many packs i might do an updated pack folder once i get some more but for now that's my current pack so these are my controls this has not changed it's pretty much all the same these are my chat settings all right so now for my bad line settings for my block overlay I change this opacity quite a lot. Um, sometimes I like to have it all the way up to like 60 or sometimes down to even like 10. And it just depends on the day. I would recommend going for fill rather than outline. It just looks better in my opinion. Um, also, if if the pack I have, I like the crosshair, I'll have it like this. But the crosshair I normally use is this one right here. Sometimes I'll make the width and height too, it just depends. Um, on my other profiles, I'll have the crosshair. I literally like this one. I have it as a black crosshair. And on this one, I have it as a dot. You've probably seen this from Deer before, but um, as of recent, I've literally just been using this one right here. Uh, so this is the one that'll be linked in the description for my Badline profile if you want to download it. And next up is Time Changer. This is pretty basic. Um, hit color as well. I just make this white down to 30 opacity default. It is red to 40 and I used to use GUI mod. I don't anymore since I got a new monitor. I don't really need to use that 3d skins. I used to use that, but I found it lagged me a little bit. So I stopped using it 
these are my animations uh you can see there and what else um cps mod shop mod fulbright hitboxes inventory blur these are my keystrokes and you can pause to look at them but i really like the way these look name tags this is my ping potion status right here i did make it a little bit smaller on the side though because i feel like the default size is a little bit too big especially if you have um you know multiple potion effects at once these are my tab setting this is my zoom my toggle sprint my scoreboard and finally this is my motion blur i currently use 70 i used to use 81 but one thing i realized is the way your game looks anywhere over 70 it creates these like rough lines so whenever you turn your screen it'll like glitch okay so if you look at my screen notice how there's like the weird lines i can see it on my second monitor but like whenever i move it there's just just weird lines now if i go down to 70 or below anything below 70 they're now gone once again if i go above wait a few seconds and just move see how it's all like ugly looking that's the difference so anything under 70 you will not have that so i just stay right at 70 and i find the best results with that so those are all my settings if you have any questions just tell me in the comments and i'll probably respond but yeah those are my edit uh custom or like what am i saying those are my updated settings and if you want to make a video trying them out yourself i would love to see that you can just make like a short clip and post it and just try out my render settings and see also i just completely remember remembered the fact that i need to show my obs settings also my face is going to be deep now which is kind of crazy so these are my obs settings for recording this is what i have i've played around with the cqp quite a bit 16 i found is just for the best quality um you can copy the rest here now i'm going to show my streaming as well because recently i've been streaming and these are the best settings that i found when I do stream, I stream in 120 FPS. When I record, I record in 360. So I just change this value here. Now, if I go down to advanced, these are my advanced settings. I'm pretty sure these are all default. I used to use a little bit different of settings here. So that's been updated. And my hotkeys, my save replay is the only hotkey I have, um, which is for replay buffer. And these are my replay buffer settings here this is just the max memory i would say this doesn't really change anything just make sure it's high enough to where if you're you know 30 seconds or one minute long clips or however long your clip is if it's you know one to two gigabytes normally or something like that i would make it around five gigabytes something at least more than double that way you you make sure that you don't you know mess up your clip um or you get the full clip every time that's pretty much it um yeah, if you have any questions, let me know down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Appreciate it. Bye.